So. And we should point out sort of a recap of the equestrian events as this is the final competition, the three-day event gold, as we look at uh, uh, the Duke of Edinburgh in the center, uh, Prince Philip, and on the left, Fritz Widmer, Executive Secretary of the International Equestrian Federation, uh, Prince Philip being the president. All right, Abdullah. Abdullah looks good walking in that direction, Bill Steinkraus. This he, is a fine competitor. He just can't go any better than he went in the last round. This time, all he can do is to go a little bit faster. He can't go I more know, beautifully. I would say both Conrad Homefeld and Joe Forges are excellent riders against the clock. I don't know. They're, they, they've discussed tactics so much together that it's very, very hard to say who has the edge, if any. Well, they both have a goal because of the United States winning the show jumping team gold. Well, in the three-day event, a team gold for the USA and an individual silver for Karen Stives. Dressage, no medals. And as I mentioned, a team gold in show jumping. Fargis, Homefeld, Smith, and Leslie Burr. Six fences, seven jumping efforts because of 10A and B. And against the clock for the gold and silver medals. The finale here at Santa Anita, which has been a superb venue for the equestrian events. Where Seabiscuit became famous as a dauntless thoroughbred, affirmed the Triple Crown winner from here. And now, Conrad Holmfeld and Abdullah, that 14-year-old gray stallion. And they've only been together since January. That's right. What a good combination they've forged in those intervening months, however. From trial to trial in the Olympic trials, they went better and better and better. At the very first, I think Abdullah didn't really trust Conrad, but now his trust is obviously complete. I think they raised a couple of these fences because they're jumping off clear rounds. So it's going to be awfully hard to get a clear round, especially with speed being such an important factor. Five fences to go. Conrad Holmfeld. There's Joe Fargis watching. Oh, and a fence is down. At six. You see how critical the position in which you go can be in the Olympic Games. That does give Joe an advantage. He knows exactly what he has to do. Third course. He's had to ride today. You'd think he'd get lost, but they keep the red to their right. The red flags at the fence. But even with that, you wonder. Joe Turning Fargis back now to, to go. the big combination at the end. Where does he dare turn to make good time? 42, 43 seconds now. Head to head, Holmfeld and Fargis. Two knockdowns, eight, and the time, 51.03. 51.03 seconds with eight faults. Now, it's very simple, isn't it, Bill? That's right. Now, now he's in my spot. He's in the spot that I was in in Mexico, uh, not in a jump off. I was able to do that just in the second round, but he knows that he has a fault to play with. And he is such a steady rider under pressure that I don't think there's any way he's going to blow it. In other words, he can knock down one fence, Joe Fargis, and win the goal. That's right. If he has the first fence down, he might want to be a little bit quick and see if he can get the time. The time is not desperately fast either. Although notice that without ever galloping, he went in 51.03. If I were Joe, I would certainly try to jump six. I would come a little bit wide to six and take my risk later on in the course. Well, I didn't have to be reminded of the popularity of horses in the United States where the population is 12 million, 8 million registered with breed associations. And beginning with President Ronald Reagan, he knows what the outside of a horse making the inside of a man feel good. And with the number of fans here, your sport is getting increasingly popular, oh, and we can all see why. I think it's a fabulous sport. There are people who say this is an elitist sport and so forth. With all the backyard horses there are in the United States, that's nonsense. This is a sport for everybody who loves sport. ABC does the world feed, and in the world there are 150 million horses. 150 million horses in the world. So, here comes that mare that we love, touch of class, and Joe Fargis, head to head against his partner, his teammate, and this afternoon in this jump off, certainly a rival. 
Certainly a rival. Certainly a rival. I must say that Joe has been one of the most generous competitors you could ever ride against. He's always had a low profile. He's really been almost a self-effacing person. He's a very modest person, but he's a very beautiful rider. Selectors this year, the United States Equestrian Team, what a job they had. More depth than you can imagine, but they had to pick four in this discipline, and that was tough. They did it by trials. This is one of the four. That's Joe. absolutely right. We had to leave four world-class riders in the East without even letting them come to California, and we had to leave a world-class rider in the stands in the Nations Cup in the, in the form of Van Kurzinski but we also have some world-class riders in competition. And here is a round that I'm going to watch with so much interest, I don't think I can talk, Chris. You tell me what happened. I'll take it over. Clear at one. This 11-year-old thoroughbred mare at Santa Anita. That's the one the home fell, knocked down. Or now he'll make the big turn to come to the fence. It was Mark II in the second round course. And then... Clear. He's still got to jump this big oxer. This big is. oxer is tough, and the last fence, 10B, is tough. A rub? It doesn't count. He's still clear. 33 seconds. She now got the away sailboat. With that. She got away. She's just skimming over the fences behind, but she's leaving them all up, and she's doing it in a beautiful style. Where is he going to turn back to this big combination? He's going to well, take a big bend. He's going for the clear round. He's going to let the time take care of itself, and that's the smart move to make. There it is, gold medal. Uh, the picture tells the story. Gold for Farges. Silver for Homefield, bronze for Robiani. And you know what that means, Chris? That means that in five rounds in the Olympic Games, over enormous fences, he's never had a single fence down. Let's listen. There is no venue where the applause is as explosive as here. It's like being at Carnegie Hall following a performance by a wonderful artist. And he has been this week, Joe Fargis. Two gold medals, team and individual. Yes, I correct myself, he had the one fence down. But what a wonderful performance this mayor has put up this week. Just unbelievable. All 16 hands of her. She probably doesn't weigh 1,000 pounds. His partner and teammate, Conrad Hornfeld, waiting for him. Look at that smile of satisfaction. Thus, the equestrian events have ended. Only what the medal presentation. Ah. And the United States equestrian team, the coaches, the grooms, they must be congratulated because they s practically swept it all except dressage. You see, everything... And I guess it would be I'm wrong for... if you wouldn't have won it. <laughs> it would have, really. Now I there's home Super. Raimondo Dinzeo, winner at Rome in 1960, congratulates him. We'll be back to talk to Joe Farges, gold medal winner, Holmfeld the silver. But first, let's take this pause and catch our breath. Hey. Was that you, Grandpa? Years ago, honey. Did you have M&M's years ago? You sure did. Special times are meant to share And M&M's chocolate candies are there The milk chocolate melts in your mouth Not in your hand Did you jump today? Well, not today. All the world loves M&M's Pure milk chocolate joy for everyone. M&M's chocolate candies. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. To dribble from New York to L.A., you've got to have a dream. Athletic shoe 
of the 1984 Olympic Games. This week, twice as much family feud fun with Richard Dawson and your all-time favorite TV families. It's a week of specials with the Brady Bunch, Petticoat Junction, your hit parade, and Leave it to Beaver. And unloving, Shana makes a choice. If you let Jim live, I promise that I'll give him up to you forever. Because I love him that much. Then stay tuned for an additional half hour of Family Feud Fun with Richard Dawson. Family Feud celebrity special, Loving Family Feud. All starting at 11, 10 Central and Pacific this week. Through the happiness and tears We've been with you through the years We're with you When you feel joy and love, we feel it too We're with you When hopes and promises come shining through We're with you The people of ABC News Uniquely qualified to bring you the world and I'm here in the collecting area with two very happy young men, Conrad Homefeld and Joe Farges, who's just come out of the ring, having won the individual gold medal, and it's a thrilling day in the United States. And Joe, that was one of the best rounds I've ever seen, and the mayor really came through for you. I know that uh, we talked earlier about her being able to keep going on that wonderful streak that she's had with all those three rounds and she certainly came through for you in the end it was thrilling to watch how did it feel it was the most satisfying thing i've ever done in my life the horse went perfectly i didn't mess up it was great well i the neat thing about it was how stylish both of you both of you rode it was it was not only a thrill but it was a, a beautiful spectacle how did your round feel conrad well i, I love the I, the first round, I screwed myself up a little bit this morning. I was a little anxious. I was second gate, and I caught one just stomping on the throttle a little too much. But other than that, I was plenty happy. I mean, I'm happy that I just got to the end of it. Well, it was a, it was a thrill for us to watch, and I congratulate you both for doing such an outstanding job. And now back to you, Chris. All right, and the only three individual gold medal winners are right. Two of them are in the picture there, Tad Cuffin, from whom you just heard. The three-day event individual gold at Montreal. Joe Farges today, and my colleague and friend, Bill Stein Kraus. You started it all in 68 by winning that first individual gold. And look what's happened since. I'd just like to go on and keep sharing that honor, Chris. So for the United States equestrian team, two go three golds and two silvers. So productive, but this afternoon and this morning, and in a jump off, Joe Farges with touch of class, a wonderful mare winning the gold. Abdullah the Stallion, Conrad.